the judge has ruled uh, that we must decamp by 6 p.m. tomorrow. Um, I'm quite shocked and I think we're still processing what this really means. We still need to consult with community and, and campers who have been here for 62 days to decide what the next steps are going to look like. Uh, we do like to move in a way that's uh, consensus-based. Uh, everybody's, you know, had their bodies on the line here for 62 days, 62 plus days now. And we will continue showing up on campus. We will continue applying pressure um, in a variety of ways. And it's important to make clear that this encampment is one of many tactics and that, you know, uh, Israeli apartheid week started on this campus each years ago and it is for the first time in history that UFT is negotiating on the topic of Palestine even uttering the word Palestine and so we have been able to achieve uh, historic uh, you know development and movement on this on this item and we will continue applying pressure uh, and doing everything we can within our capacity to um, have the three demands met. I am appalled that you know we are, have even gotten to a point that UFT went to the courts uh, and is calling the police on their own students police that we know are violent that have been violent uh, to come clear this encampment it is it is truly appalling that they would rather spend a million dollars on a lawyer and weaponize the courts than simply do the right thing and divest from weapons manufacturing companies complicit in Israeli apartheid. Students will continue to fight for divestment um, at U of T and beyond and fight for Palestinian liberation until you know this genocide uh, is no longer occurring until you know uh, U of T ends its complicity and so you know that will take a variety of different form shapes and forms over the coming months and years if it takes that long but uh, what I do know in my heart of hearts is that it's not a question of if it's a question of when U of T divests and whether or not they're going to do it in any sort of timely manner or like with South African apartheid, be one of the last Canadian universities to do so.